The course has a really big practical element to it. There's an entire module in first year that's an introduction to the workshop. In second year, you do a design and make project. In third year, the practical element is mainly on what you want to do. Mechanical engineering is related to the design and analysis of components and assemblies. Many people are surprised to hear that often it's not only physical testing that is done, but actually a lot of computer modelling to predict the stresses and strains in mechanical assemblies. A really good thing about the course at Hull is the fact that we get to choose an individual module in our final year where we can take a subject that we are passionate about and do a whole module project on it. The mechanical engineering courses at Hull are fully accredited by the IMECI and the IET, which means that they meet the minimum requirements to pursue a chartered status. Quite maths intensive, it covers a broad range of theory but also the practical side of everything you need to know to become a professional engineer. My favourite thing about my course is being able to work in the workshop. I like the practical side, building things, designing. We show you the practical application of engineering as well as the theory within the classroom. There will be a lot of lectures within the courses that are all supported by practical sessions. Design and analysis is conducted in practical sessions on industry standard software for students to become familiar with the kind of software that is in demand in industry and makes them ultimately more employable. I'm currently on the year in industry at Vauxhall Motors in Ellesmere Port. I feel as though I've gained a very strong underpinning of mechanical engineering and I've been able to apply that in my placement. And I feel though my nine months at Vauxhall are currently laying the foundations for me to pursue a career in this industry. Formula Student is one of the is the world's biggest engineering competition of its kind. Uh, every year we have 125 different universities from all over the world come together here at Silverstone to compete and demonstrate our engineering capabilities. Uh, one of the main benefits of getting involved in a project like this is that it proves to any potential future employers that you might look to after your degree that you can um, apply the skills that you've learned throughout your course to a real world application, something tangible. I chose to do mechanical engineering at Hull because when I came to have a look around the university I instantly fell in love with it. I'd been to have a look at probably about eight of the universities, but Hull really stood out to me. I came to Hull University through Clearing. They were by far the most encouraging university I spoke to, and they've continued to be throughout my time here. Students will gain not only engineering skills, but also transferable skills in things such as report writing or presentation skills. And actually, towards the end of the course, many of the tasks that are set as assignments are the kind of tasks that students would find that they would encounter in industry once they've graduated. Mechanical engineering graduates enjoy excellent career prospects in industries such as the automotive industry, aerospace industry, food manufacturing industry, Formula One and consumer product development. My final year project has influenced what I'd like to do once I leave university. I'd really like to go into something to do with renewable energies now. I've actually got a job at RB on their graduate supply chain programme based here in Hull and also at Nottingham. I know that I'd like to go into something design based or maybe into marketing for an engineering company but first thing I'm going to go travelling.